Hello everyone, and welcome to Global Scholarships, your go-to channel for all things related to studying abroad. In this episode, we will look at the undergraduate level admission procedure at Pukyong National University. We will start with a brief review of Pukyong National University. Pukyong National University, or PKNU for short, was established in 1996 in Busan, South Korea. PKNU is the first university in Busan and is a national university with more than 100 years of experience. It serves as a creative model for the development of national universities in South Korea. PKNU has been providing education and research in the field of fisheries and maritime affairs for the longest time in Korea. Having recently adopted the slogan New Beginning, New Inspiration, PKNU has ventured upon a new vision of quality education, research, and social service. PKNU has committed to establishing itself as a leading institute for the development of knowledge in South Korea. In addition, the institute is committed to contributing to national development by providing students with research and financial support. PKNU has over 210,000 alumni around the globe, which has allowed it to pave a new path for national universities by nurturing graduates to reflect on the past and challenge the future. We can now move on to the application procedure for undergraduate degrees at Pukyong National University. First step is Googling Pukyong National University. Choose the first option named Pukyong National University. Then. Click on Admissions on the top bar. A drop-down menu should open up and click on Admissions once again. Here, you will see the admission guide which includes Admission Semesters, Application Period, and a link to the Applications Guidelines which is a PDF document. Download the Applications Guidelines. Open the document and scroll down to page number 18 for Undergraduate Application Guidelines in English for International Students. Information on Pukyong National University and its location is given. It is stated that students are selected by their academic ability and there is no set quota for the number of students to be admitted. The screening process involves document screening and interview screening. Interviews may need to be conducted depending on the department. Next, a list of available undergraduate programs and departments is given. The undergraduate admissions procedures is as follows. First is online registration at www.studyinkorea.go.kr Next, submission of the application form and all other original documents. Then, document screening. Then, interview screening. Next is screening by selection committee. Then, announcement of admissions. You'll then need to pay your tuition fees. Next is receiving the receipt of certificate of admission. International students will now be required to have a visa application if they do not have one. Otherwise, they can proceed to South Korea and go on with a class registration. Next will be the freshman orientation and your classes will begin. Do keep in mind that there is no application fee required. The admission schedule with the key dates is given as well. Scroll further for entry requirements. The first is nationality requirement. Both the applicant and his or her parents must not be Korean. Foreign applicants who undertook or are expecting to graduate all educational courses in a foreign country that is equivalent to elementary, middle, and high schools, which is 12 years in Korea. Academic requirements expect applicants to have completed or be expected to complete the academic curriculum from elementary to high school for 12 years in or out of South Korea. You will also find language proficiency requirements here and applicants should admit at least one of these. The language tests accepted are TOPIK, TOEFL, IELTS, and TEPS. Undergraduate students are also expected to have basic Korean communication skills. Foreigners who have completed high school education or higher in English-speaking countries are exempt from this requirement. Scroll down and you will find several important pieces of information under Notices for Applicant. Next, you are given a list of the documents required for admission. First is application form and three photos of yourself, a personal statement and study plan, certificate of graduation from previous schools, transcript of previous education, transcript, official language proficiency score, certificate of the nationality of the applicant and parents. Certificate of Family Relations or Birth Certificate, Financial Documents, and finally, Certificate of Entry and Exit. 
The application submission address is stated here too. The document includes several other information like details on the required medical documents, scholarships, tuition fees, student dormitory, and office information. And that's it for this video. We will look into the postgraduate level application procedures at Pukyong National University in our next video. We hope you're now aware of the procedures for enrolling in an undergraduate degree at Pukyong National University. If you're looking for more comprehensive guides to study abroad as well as scholarships for international students, don't forget to check out our website, globalscholarships.com. So, see you at the next one.